Hello everybody, I'm just going to make sure that you guys can run the robot code that we did in last class in the, the WPI Lib simulation. So the first thing I need you guys to do is just to go to robot.java. Um, I recommend using IntelliJ because uh, VS Code has some weird quirks to it. But make sure that nothing here is like red underlined. And if there is, try to fix the errors. Um, this is just to make sure that the code can actually compile and you won't get any um, compile time errors. And then uh, once you got that done, uh, just go ahead and open up your uh, FRC VS Code. And on the top right, it should be the red W, right? And then if you you should be able to type simulate, and one of the options should be simulate robot code on desktop. When you click on it, uh, you're gonna see in the terminal that's gonna be like saying like executing task or something, and it's gonna be running Gradle. This part of the process could take a while. You can see um, I paused the recording, but uh, it only finished in 24 seconds. Um, but once it's done, you're gonna see that it's gonna be running a lot more things, and it's gonna. Um, uh, ask you, to, it's going to say robot program is starting. Now, you might notice that a GUI didn't really pop up. So, when you run uh, the simulate robot code, there should be a little pop up window near the top of the page. Let me just let it run again. Yeah, and then you can see how sim underscore GUI. If you forgot to check mark this part or it just skipped it for whatever reason, you can try rerunning it and then this should pop up. Uh, when you press the check mark, you can press OK. And then uh, eventually when the simulation runs, you can see it's like running a bunch of things again, you're gonna get this simulator GUI, right? You can see your joysticks, other devices, PWM outputs, this is stuff we'll cover later on, but um, depending on if you mess with the, simula the simulator already, you might have a different screen. But what we're gonna really care about is this menu that says robot state, and it basically is like the driver station. You can choose between disabled, autonomous, teleoperator, or test mode. And because the code we wrote is in, um, the code we wrote is in Teleop. We're gonna go ahead and monitor the console, right? So it's like the Java console uh, down here, WPI lib. Once you put it into teleoperated, you can see that it starts counting how much time we spent in Teleop, right? You can see three sec, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. You can see how it's using the internal clock, right? And then when you press disable, it will stop again. You press teleoperated. It's gonna keep iterating because that's what we told the code to do. Code to do. And then you guys can go in and have some fun with this. You guys can change how the output works or whatever. Maybe change it to autonomous. But this is how you're going to run code um, with the simulator. And when you're done, you can go back to VS Code. On the top, there should be a few run options. There's a run bar. And you can, you can press uh, either restart to like restart the GUI. It'll reload your um, robot code. So you don't have to like restart the simulator all over again. And if you just want to stop and take a break, just press the stop button. All right, hope you guys uh, can try this out for yourself.